Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's edition of Dynamic CRM Coaching presented by InfoGrow. I'm your host, Tanya Stevenson, and along with me today is Zach Lobenthal. What are we Hello. talking about today, Zach? Well, today's brew topic is what is bad data? So what do we have brewing? First, we're going to discuss what is bad data. Then we're going to talk about what is good data. We'll talk about the effects that data has on a business. And lastly, we'll tell you how InfoGrill can help you in your data get on the right track. All right. Well, first, let's talk about bad data. At some point, we've all heard the phrase bad data, but what does it actually mean? Well, in simple terms, it means that data is inaccurate. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that the nature of the inaccurate data is false. Data that is true in nature can be classified as bad data as well. Data can be classified as bad if it is one or more of the following. Incorrect, outdated, duplicated, inconsistent, wrongfully placed, missing or incomplete, misspelled, or contains unnecessary additions. Well, let's take a closer look. Incorrect data. Incorrect data may consist of wrong information. This wrong information comes in forms such as names, phone numbers, addresses, emails, earls, and more. Outdated data may consist of information that's no longer relevant. For example, a business might change its name due to a merger or an employee might leave a business and now be associated with another. If, and, and if you've been turning into our brew se sessions, you'll know all about this next one, duplicate data. Zach knows all about this one. Mm -hmm. Looking at the example at the bottom of the slide, uh, to a CRM entry of NASA and another of National Aeronautic Space and Administration, these are two completely different records. But if you look closely, you'll see that they're actually the same record, the same, they should be the same and they should be a single record. This is just one instance of how duplicate data can occur. We rec recommend devising proper naming conventions inside your CRM to help prevent duplicates like this from occurring. In a similar way, our duplicate to our ex duplicate example, but quite different, is inconsistent formatting, which consists of deviations in the way data is entered. Looking at the figure, we can see that the differences in phone number for formatting as well as state formatting. Inconsistent data becomes a headache. Trust me, I know about this when trying to do any sort of accurate reporting. For example, if we query a report that requires accounts in Ohio, if we queried on OH, the results for Ohio, it would be missing the one spelled O-H-I-O and vice versa, leading to an inaccurate report. Wrongfully placed data. Wrongfully placed data is data that's not where it belongs. In the example image, we can see that with Ales Brewing, Looking at the column headers and row data, we know that these records are contacts in the contact table and Ales Brewing is a place of business and belongs in the account table. Next, we have comments in fields. Fields are designed to capture a certain type of data. For example, an account name should not read restaurant X, oh, the BLT is amazing. Well, good for restaurant X, but a comment like that belongs in notes, not the account name. The next classification of bad data is missing or incomplete values. Records that have missing or incomplete values can have ranging effects from missed opportunities to inaccurate reporting. As we can see in the example, we have a record for John. The only information we have is a phone number. Well, how do we include John in an email list for a campaign if we don't have an email? I guess we could call the number and ask for his email, but we don't even have a last name. And what if this number is a general line to a 5,000 plus company, employee company that he works at. Locating the rest of John's details could be a wild goose chase. Yeah, have fun with that one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next we have uh, accidental punctuation or misspellings. We can see the accidental punctuations and misspellings in the example image. Foreign characters can lead to troublesome data importing. Misspellings of field data such as names, locations, emails, URLs, can also affect importing as well as undermine the ability to extract insights and make any sort of data-driven decisions. You gotta be able to trust your data. Now that we have gone over instances of bad data, let's talk about good data. Qualities of good data is data that is accurate, 
complete, consistent, fresh, unique, valid, and most of all, accessible. Accurate data is data that is correct and reflects the real world. Data is complete if records have all required information. Data is consistent if it is the same across all integrated instances from software to databases. If your data is up to date, it's fresh. Good data must also be unique and it should not contain any duplicates. Data is valid if it is correctly and consistently formatted. Lastly, if data is all of the above discussed, is accessible, which makes it good data and easy to use. Data can have ranging effects on a business depending on the integrity of it. Bad data creates flawed insights, causes failed migrations, weakens organizational efficiency, causes failure in communication, loss in production, and increases spending to clean, which leads to an overall decrease in revenue. Good data, on the other hand, enhances forecasting and decision-making. It allows for swift migrations, enhances organizational efficiency and communication, creates initiatives, and most importantly, reduces risk while increasing revenue. Well, how so can InfoGrow help you? Let me take this one, Zach. How, okay. I mean, even though I know this is your specialty, <laughs> I want to take this one. So how can InfoGrow help you? Well, while, while most of maintaining good data is in the hands of the user, we here at InfoGrow can help your organization get a head start on turning your bad data into good data. If you're not already familiar with it, let's first introduce the InfoGrow Dynamics Data Assessment. Our Dynamics Data Assessment is designed to further familiarize the client, you, and ourselves with the data, the CRM data, yours, your data. By performing the data assessment, we can derive detailed insights of your CRM's data and utilization. Once an assessment is complete and discussions are held regarding the findings, we can take the next step and perform the InfoGrow Dynamics Data Cleaning. So what is the Dynamics Data Cleaning? In an InfoGrow Dynamics Data Cleaning, we perform a CRM cleansing by purging duplicate records as well as decluttering the system of irrelevant data. Just like the data, uh, Dynamics Data Assessment, once the cleaning is finished, a detailed report is provided of the cleaning, any further findings, and any further recommendations relayed to as well in, aid of, in maintain, maintaining the integrity of your CRM. We're always amazed by the responses we receive regarding our, our dynamics assessments and data cleans. One thing we've noticed while going over these reports with clients is how quickly the colleagues in that company start communicating with each other and setting up further meetings to discuss making changes based on those findings. If you yeah, have that's... any further questions regarding these services or any data topic discussed, we encourage and welcome all questions in our post-presentation live Q&A because you know what, Zach? is a whiz at this. He can he can answer your questions regarding data duplication, data integrity, and because he's really smart that way. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you before, no, but uh, but when when you're talking about how you know big thing we notice that our colleagues once we go over these they start you know they start off a little bit quiet, and then you know we get them talking and towards the end there's a hey you know. Sam, let's set up a meeting for this afternoon to discuss this. Oh, why is that this going on? Why is that, that going on? And it, it's not meant to be discouraging by any means. It's, it's just an eye opener. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of the things that, you know, makes this well worth it um, is just seeing the positivity of, you know, okay, we can do this to change our company and make this part of it better. And, you know, we're not doing this or we should be doing this. So it's, it, it, it's, you'd be surprised of, of, of what, you, what can be found. All right, well, stick around in a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna have our live Q&A session. Like I said, you can talk to Zach, who's our great little, uh, he's, our, he's our great data guy. And uh, otherwise you can keep in touch with us by emailing us, visiting our website or uh, emailing support or just calling us. You know, we're here and we look forward to hearing from you. Make sure to join us for our next Dynamics uh, Brew session. That will be Wednesday, July 20th at 1130 uh, Eastern time. We're gonna be talking about Dynamics 365 and Formstack. You won't wanna miss this because Formstack is really cool with Dynamics. So you can sign up today at the link below and we'll have the link in the uh, chat for the session today. We look forward to uh, seeing you next time.